there and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be trying out the uh, three colored eyeliners that I got from Aliexpress these <coughs> so sorry guys I feel like I'm getting some kind of chest infection I'm literally like having some kind of hot flash flush is it <laughs> what's it called I don't know oh my gosh seriously guys I'm really really sorry about that and if I sound like I'm out of breath it's because I, I am. I recently hauled these three eyeliners. They're from the Hand Diane brand and they cost one pound and one P each, which is super good value if they're good. I mean, if they're not good, then it's just a waste of money. I know you've all been really, really keen to see kind of how these perform, what they actually look like. I wanted to, uh, to try them, obviously. <coughs> Oh gosh guys really but so in the video when I hauled these I did ask if everyone could comment and let me know which shade they were most interested in seeing me try first by a long way yellow seemed to be like the winner that seemed to be the most in demand uh, to be tested out but I am going to test all three of these out in this one video I'm going to begin with the yellow one I'm going to apply it now I'm going to keep it on all day and then I'll be coming back and telling you kind of how it wore. I don't know if I'm going to actually try these out today, probably not, but I'll try these out like over the next couple of days and then I'll include that in the end of the video so you can see them all and I can also give you feedback on how they actually, you know, wore and performed and did they stay put, did they start to flake, did they start to want to take over my soul. So this is what the packaging looks like. They've got loads and loads of different shades as well. I obviously got these three, but they do have loads of other shades. But, oh my gosh, oh, not my favorite kind of applicator. So it's like a little brush head, um, which I would prefer it wasn't. And it looks to be like not the finest tip in the world, if that makes sense. Like it, it I don't know, I just, I'm not into the bristly brush head for eyeliner because I feel like it just isn't the best, like, to help you apply. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just do this, guys. By the way, I have got mascara on, which isn't very helpful when you're trying to apply a wing. Oh, guys, it's the brush that lets this down. Like, I knew as soon as I saw that brush, I thought this is going to be a nightmare. But do you know what? I think the shade, oh my gosh, it's definitely pigmented. Okay. Oh my gosh, my hand is shaking so much because I've had a Red Bull and I've not really eaten much. So, I mean, I had a rich tea biscuit, but other than that, I've not really eaten that much. So, I think my blood sugar is a bit low, but anyway, guys. Oh my gosh, my hand is shaking so much. Okay, so let me just neaten this up a little bit. Okay, so this almost looks a little bit green. Can you see like, I don't know if that's just because it's against the black. I feel like I've got it on my um, eyelashes as well. Um, it's definitely not the best job. A, that's partly because my hand is a bit shaky. B, the brush it could do with being like a, a silicone tip, which is like my favorite, or it could do with having less bristles, you know, so you could be a little bit more like accurate with it. But, I mean, it's not terrible. Okay, so there we go. Definitely not the best wing I've ever done in my life, but I think we can definitely like get the measure of of the product, I think it's actually very opaque. It's pigmented. I don't like the tip at all. I mean, I kind of like it. I'm kind of liking it. It's impossible to do and not get all of your eyelashes. I would definitely recommend to put your mascara on after using this, you know? Um, but I'm really liking it. I mean, it's super bright. I 
I mean, it's almost neon. It's so bright. I'm really impressed with the actual colour. Okay, so there we go. I know I've not done like the best job ever with the wing and I have ended up with a lot of this, you know, on my eyelashes, but I'm really, really like impressed with the shade. Like it's so pigmented and it's so kind of there. Like you can really, really see it. I'm gonna just make the line on my lid a little bit thicker. By the way, if you can hear what sounds like a cat being strangled, that's just Tony singing downstairs. He's, oh my gosh, oh no, it's gone there. Oh, disasters, oh no. Oh, luckily you can just wipe it off, so that's great. I don't know if these are waterproof, although it does claim to be a long lasting, um, but I suppose that's not the same as waterproof. So, okay, I mean, I'm just gonna let this dry. And I'm going to just reapply some mascara and then I'll be back. Okay, so here we go. It does appear to have dried now. And you know, like sometimes with um, liquid eyeliner, when it dries, it can look dry. Like it can look a bit, a bit crunchy. Do you know what I mean? I feel like this one for such a light shade is actually looking really, really good. Oh my gosh, I keep getting it there though. Like, what is happening right now? But there we go. I really like it. I mean, it's a lot more neon than I expected, but it's also a lot better than I expected. It's very intense. In terms of how it looks, loving it so far. In terms of how it applied, not the biggest fan. It's quite tricky to apply. I am going to just leave this on now. I'm going to just go about the rest of my day, but I'll be back shortly to give you an update on how it's actually worn, and then we'll be trying out the other two. Oh my gosh, like, yes, so far, it's a yes from me. Okay, so I've had the eyeliner on for about 20 minutes now. It feels like it's burning, like, it feels burning. I do find that sometimes with, like, eye primers, particularly, like, the NYX Glitter Glue, I can get a little bit of, like, a burny feeling, so I'm not going to kind of, you know, freak out and wash this off just yet. I'm going to just give it a bit more time, but it's definitely feeling a bit burny actually if it carries on or gets worse i am going to just wash this off i don't want to obviously be messing about near my eyes you know but as i said i'm going to just persevere because i have had this sensation with other eye products in the past so i'm just going to give it like a little bit more time okay so the burning stopped and i'm so pleased that i persisted and left this on because i was seconds away from just washing it off because it was kind of it wasn't burning like really really bad but it was definitely like feeling a bit uncomfortable and because this product is such a cheap product i was getting a little bit freaked out but the burning's completely stopped now it feels comfortable it does feel a little bit kind of tight like i feel like it's dried so then you know you know like when eyeliner can feel a bit tight on your lid it kind of feels like that anyway the burning stopped so i'm really pleased because i'm really kind of rooting for this product sorry that's the microwave how rude right now i'm just making tea yeah i'm really wanting this product to be good i just love the the shade so anyway we'll see we'll see how it goes okay so i realized that i forgot to do swatches so i'm going to insert them here and also i just wanted to say that the um, brush ends are different on the um, eyeliners so the pink and the blue both have much finer brush ends whereas the yellow one is kind of thicker and the reason why I don't like these uh, brush tips is because you know as you're putting the pen back in the tube if one of the brush hairs becomes like wonky or something it just fecks up the whole operation you know what i mean these are the swatches i have just applied them so they're not dry yet but i just realized that i'd completely neglected to do it so okay it so it's about four hours later as you saw there was definitely a burny phase with this eyeliner i was so close to just taking it off but because i really 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 am rooting for these eyeliners 
I just wanted to persevere and I'm glad I did because the burning lasted for like five minutes and then there was no burning. So I really do like how bright the eyeliner is. I definitely think it has a slightly, I'm trying to film with the boys in the next room and it's proving to be rather impossible. But yeah, I really feel like this is almost a neon. What's going on, Jay? <laughs> Guys, don't be opening any of the presents. So I definitely feel like this is super bright, veering on neon. It's definitely not the kind of yellow that I was expecting, but it's a definite good surprise because I actually really like the super bright neon yellow look. I feel like my actual application was terrible. That was partly down to the fact that I was shaking and plus I'm not actually very good at applying liquid eyeliner anyway. But also the tip of this is a little bit tricky to use. But all that being said, I kind of like this. I feel like it looks a little bit dry. However, it's actually stayed in place really, really well. Andreas, would, like I don't even know what he was doing, but he had a straw and he was like blowing through the straw into my face and like bits of his spit sounds awful but this is something only you would let your child do but bits of spit were like you know being blown into my face and my eyes the eyeliner's actually stayed up really really well maybe Andreas knew that I was testing out the eyeliner and he thought he would take it to the next level I actually really like this and I think it, this shade would look really really good with like a super dark smoky eye I didn't appreciate the burny phase at all so I would warn you that potentially there could be a burning phase it's gonna be interesting to see if there's a burning phase with these two overall I'm kind of impressed and I, I kind of like this I am tempted now to just apply one of the other ones maybe just like I'll try and apply it like not over the top but do a, a like a second line and try and create a rainbow look if it doesn't work out then I'm just gonna probably tomorrow film me testing out both of these. Should I go in with the blue or the pink? I'm gonna go in with the blue. But here we have the blue. This looks to be like a baby blue, but I mean, who knows what color it's gonna be on the eye. By the way, there was loads of transfer with the yellow liner. So definitely like you do have to wait for it to dry before trying to blink or, or live your life. Oh my gosh, I've just got that on my eyelash. She's winning already. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at that. Oh, it's super opaque. Like it's super opaque. I've got one of the Nicks. It's called the Vivid Brights. Oh, look, guys. Seriously, what was I just saying about you've got to let it dry before trying to do anything? Oh, it affected it right up. I'm going to try this out again, like, on its own, but I'm just kind of messing about now because I am just about to take my makeup off, so I'm just flicking around a little bit. Okay, so, I mean, I know it doesn't look great, but... I'm just getting a feel for this before. Like, I am going to apply it properly tomorrow, but look at that, guys. Oh, my gosh. But do you know what? I really like this one. I think it looks so good. So good. The brush picks up so much of the product. I'm not going to look at the camera because if I do, I know I'm going to get this blue all the way on my crease. So I'm just going to keep keep myself looking down. Okay, I can kind of feel it starting to burn already. I have experienced burning with other like eye products, so this is not like unique. The fact that it stopped burning and then felt fine gives me some reassurance that it's probably not toxic you know it's probably okay you really have to let this product dry before trying to live your life do you know what guys i can't resist like i just saw the hot pink on the table and i thought 
I need to do a rainbow eye. I mean, I could never forgive myself if I did not do a rainbow eye. I just feel like this makes sense right now. So I'm just, I'm going for it, guys. I'm going to just wipe a little bit of this eyeliner off the brush because I don't want it to be, you know, too covered. Oh my gosh, these colours go so well together. This pink is gorgeous. Oh god, guys, do these colours not complement each other so beautifully? For some reason, this pink one is way easier to apply than the yellow. I feel like the brush is is finer. I just feel like the brush is finer somehow. Like, can you see? It just looks a bit finer. Oh my gosh. I'm living for this look right now. I feel very 80s. How have I got to the age of 34 and I've never done like rainbow eyeliner before? I mean, I can barely do eyeliner. Trifecta rainbow eyeliner is actually quite ambitious for me, but oh my gosh. Oh, guys, do you know what? Because it keeps transferring up there. Do you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm tempted just to go like this and laugh in the face of this transfer and say no. I'll show you. I'm going to create my own rules up in here. Feck you. Oh, I it up though. Oh, I lost that battle. I really like these eyeliners. I can definitely feel like the burning sensation is starting again, but I'm kind of not too worried about it. I am going to be obviously wearing these more, so I will let you know in the comments if I do find that the burning becomes any kind of issue because if I felt it was any kind of issue or if it was something to worry about, you know, I would not want you guys to try these out. I I would not want you to waste your money on them or risk your eyesight. I feel like the blue and the pink are very true to the colour that they look in the tube. Whereas I feel like the yellow one, it's definitely much brighter on the eye. But I know I look like a raver right now who decided to do a rainbow eyeliner look after they'd taken some magic mushrooms. But... Like, I really like this. I really like it, guys. I'm going to just see if I can perfect. You know, like, what I'm trying to say is I want to just try and go over the pink that I somehow decided to put there. Okay, so I used my L'Oreal eye paint just to kind of, well, try and erase my mistakes, but it's not really worked. Because I've now tried out all three of the eyeliners, I'm gonna end the video here. I, f I really like this product, like I really, really do like it. As I said, I will let you know in the comments if I do kind of have any any changes of mind. Does that make sense? But yeah, if I change my mind, I'll let you know in the comments, but I really like these. I would definitely recommend them. Try not to be too alarmed if you get the burny feeling, but if, if you find that obviously, if you find that it persists or it gets worse or it's just so uncomfortable, just take it off. I would not want you to get hurt do you know what i mean but anyway guys i love this also i just want to say thank you to the couple of, of subscribers who commented when i hauled these and suggested i do a rainbow eye that was a great idea it wasn't my idea i probably would never have thought of it so thank you to the guys that did recommend that it was a great idea even though i didn't execute it very well i mean anyway guys i'm gonna go but i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one